This is not a cause for alarm. You might have had to use these painkiller or over-the-counter medications to manage pain sometime in your life or probably in future, especially as women and girls. Painful periods can be a pain in the butt and oftentimes we resolve to these over-the-counter painkillers medications to manage this condition. Now, you might have been doing yourself more harm than good. To know this and to better understand what all this is about, please ensure you watch this video to the end and kindly join me as we dive into it. You're looking real nice. We'll love to chat right now before I get high. When you came to Beautiful people, you're welcome to the channel. My name is Odwayo. I'm a public health specialist and I manage this platform where we discuss about her health, how to stay healthy. Day. Today we are going to be discussing about the harmful effects of NSAIDs that is non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs such as felvin, ibuprofen and the likes of it. Now, these drugs are majorly used as painkillers, they are used to manage fever, manage menstrual cramps and the likes of it, you know anything that causes pain and then it elevates, you know, the condition. But then, you have to understand how this drug works for you to be able to know what harm you're doing to your body by taking these drugs. Oftentimes, we just, you know, go over the counter, you know, you prescribe these drugs to ourselves. Sometimes we take it below the recommended dosage and sometimes we take it above the recommended dosage and sometimes because of the severity of the pain especially menstrual cramps we just you know take enough to <laughs> ensure that we have enough in our system now to manage menstrual cramps we are going to be using NSAIDs it is usually advised that you start probably two days before your period such that it accumulates in your body before your period actually comes there's a video up here where I spoke about how to manage your menstrual cramps how to manage painful periods you know aside of using this drug now for those that use this drug what is the side effect of this drug what happens to your body what happens in your body when you take non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen like felvin and the likes of it once you take this drug i mean the recommended dosage of this drug as soon as it gets to your intestine absorption takes place and it takes about 30 to 60 minutes for absorption into the bloodstream to start and this explains why sometimes when you have menstrual cramps and you take this drug you don't start to feel relief immediately until about 30 45 to you know 60 minutes after taking this and once it gets into your body and it gets into the bloodstream what this drug does is that once it gets into the bloodstream it starts to inhibit the enzymes that is responsible for the production of prostaglandin the prostaglandin is responsible for various physiological processes in the body for instance it influences uterine contractions that is it helps the walls of the muscles of the uterus that is the womb to contrast during your menstruation which actually leads to menstrual cramping and also it works on the hypothalamus in the brain to regulate your body temperature which explains why these drugs can be used you know in the regulation of body temperature when you have fever and also also it helps in the flow of blood to the kidney another thing it does is that it helps in the secretion of the mucus that lines the stomach that is the stomach mucus and then the acid in your stomach which is the gastric acid it helps in the production regulation of the gastric acid and in the production of this mucus now that we know that prostaglandin does a lot of things in the body when you now take a medication you know that suppresses or inhibits the enzyme that produces prostaglandin which eventually means that once you take this drug you take felvin you take ibuprofen and you take the likes of it you are reducing prostaglandin in your body so what happens to your stomach when you take ibuprofen you take felvin or you take any of these non steroid that is that it reduces the mucus you know that covers the lining of your stomach and then it exposes the lining of your stomach to the gastric acid so that such that it starts to cause stomach irritation and if this continues over time you should know that you're going to develop stomach ulcer because your stomach lining is just going to react to too much of production also, this of is why it is advised that you don't take these drugs on empty stomach even when you are within the recommended dosage of the drug or you're taking below the dosage don't 
take this drugs on empty stomach i say it again don't take this drug on empty stomach you don't need to abuse this drug before you start to develop ulcer or it aggravates your ulcer especially for those that have ulcer before it aggravates your ulcer what happens is that when you eat before you take this drug you know the acid in your stomach now starts to act on the food rather than on the lining of your stomach that is where or no particular condition should you take any of this drug or painkillers on empty stomach now for the kidney remember we said that prostaglandin is involved or influences the flow of blood to the kidney now what it does is that is this it helps some of the blood vessels in the kidney to remain open to remain it keeps it open so that blood can actually flow through it once you reduce prostaglandin what happens is that some of these vessels starts to close up and it might eventually collapse and you do not need the fortune teller to tell you that there's a serious problem if this should happen the beautiful thing about this is this if this does not happen when you take your recommended dosage of uh, ibuprofen or non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs or probably you just take it for probably a few days to manage menstrual periods or some parts of fever or maybe a kind of pain you don't understand but the major concern is actually for one those people who have to take this drug for a long period of time probably they are managing some conditions like arthritis you know there are some major conditions where you have to keep taking painkillers because you are they are chronic yeah i think that's the word they are chronic conditions and then you have to keep taking drugs to manage the situation those people are at risk of that and also those people that abuse this drug for instance you have menstrual pain and instead of taking 400 mg of ibuprofen you take 800 at a time so there is a serious issue. You are abusing the drug. You are majorly putting your kidney at risk. Another thing also, thirdly, is also for people who have kidney issues already. You have kidney disease. You have some form of kidney issues before. And then you start to take non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs. Then you know that you are putting yourself in at risk. No matter how low the dosage you are trying to take is, you have to please speak to your doctor before you do this. Now, if you have stomach ulcer before, please just stay away from this drug if you have kidney issues before please stay away from this drug and if you do not have either of these if you want to take non-steroid anti-inflammatory drug ensure that you have eaten something ensure that your stomach is not empty and ensure that you are taking it within the recommended dosage outside of this there is an entire video on how to manage painful periods there are some other uh, there are some other remedies that you can look out for medically. There are some other remedies at home, home remedies, or some other things that you can do to manage menstrual periods. The video is up here, and then I'll leave it in the description box for you to click and then for you to watch so that you just might not have to put yourself through this. Most people develop stomach ulcer because of this and sometimes when you meet people that have severe stomach ulcer i do have one and then when you see the episode of this you would not really wish you anyone to be in that shoe so girls ladies let us just all be careful and let us know what we are doing actually and let us take proper care of ourselves if today is your first time of coming across this channel I'm so glad to have you here and thank you so much for joining us. Please do well to click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell so that you can get notified when we put out our content here. And I'm very sure that you enjoy it. If you have enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and families, and I'm pretty sure they would all benefit from it. Thank you so much. I'll see you some other time. Bye bye.